Good morning, folks. If you missed our earlier update today, here are the highlights. The Sunspot grouping released a long-duration C-class solar flare that propelled a CME into space. Solar wind is quiet now, but it won't be in a few days as we've got that CME on its way to Earth. We expect impact Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, followed by an intensified stream from the following coronal hole running in behind the sunspots. You might recall that while public access to SOHO is down, we do still have the coronagraph images here. We've further processed and backfilled the later added images with the contrast push, so we've got great visibility of the full halo CME. This is indeed an Earth-directed eruption, and it moves up the expected geomagnetic storm initiation from the 15th or 16th, when the coronal hole stream is set to arrive, up to a full day earlier when the CME should impact. It's almost lunchtime in the east and still no endless spiral updates, but stereo is still showing a nice full view of the CME from the side, so we can tell it's coming. We expect minor to moderate geomagnetic storms and some possible effects in the atmosphere and on the ground, but not a major storm and unlikely to even be considered a strong one. Let's go now and get some updates from NOAA on La Nina. We are indeed one degree cooler than average in the all-controlling Central Pacific. La Nina is currently firmly in place and that is with a neutral outgoing long wave anomaly profile for the last month, above average clouds expected this month by the way. At their link below you also have a three month temperature anomaly and precipitation anomaly map. Bit of sad news out of India where a very unseasonal hailstorm destroyed a number of crops and claimed the life of a farmer. Not the best shift from the drought news we've been hearing out of there recently. Folks, since we've been on about Earth's magnetic reversal and cosmic rays in our afternoon reports for the last few days, I wanted to share just one of the articles out on how our brains can be affected in terms of our ability to think properly. All those videos on the reversal are linked for you right below this one. Now lastly, folks, we had a couple of tickets to this weekend's Observing the Frontier Conference donated last minute. If you are an observer, you can make it to Albuquerque this weekend and you can handle your own accommodations. We've probably got a ticket for you. Check in on our Facebook page for details on how to get one of those donated tickets for this weekend's event facebook.com slash observatory project. We've got your wind maps and shots of our start to close, including a very peculiar northern polar vortex. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 8.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.